Hi there, it's Mathia Ford, and today I want to talk about four easy bag lunches that you can use when you have CKD. So, sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. Um, this is really a straightforward little talk about how to kind of plan ahead a little bit and have a better lunch when you're um, thinking about what you can take with you somewhere, either you go to work or you go to the doctor's office or you're out. Um, these are some easy options that are outside a little bit of the normal of what you might think. Um, cooking and eating with a renal diet has some struggles and challenges when you're working from home and you have the ability to control everything and it only kind of becomes a little bit more complex when you're uh, do doing it when you're traveling. So. I wanna help you plan some lunches that you can take with you and if you have a refrigerator, you can put them in there or they're good for usually a couple hours um, so you can take them with you when you travel. Number one is a turkey pita sandwich. So a pita is like a bread that has a pocket in the middle and then some low sodium deli meat like turkey and some lettuce, some onions. If you're not restricted in potassium, uh, tomatoes, you can use a little mayo or mustard in there and um, add some other of your, you know, peppers, any sort of renal approved veggies that you might want to see. Um, that'll add some flavor. So a little pita pocket would be great. You can usually find pitas in your bread section at the grocery store. So number two is a veggie pasta salad. So pasta salad is really easy to make. You boil your pasta, whatever kind you want, the ziti, the you know spiral noodles, whatever, and you can make a bigger batch on one day of the week, maybe when you have a little more time. It's always good to make it like a day ahead because then you can let the um, dressing sauce kind of soak into it. So you could portion that out once you make it. So what you do is you boil your pasta, and then once you drain it and it's cooled, you add a little bit of red and green veggies like chopped green pepper, chopped red pepper, uh, cucumbers, you know, if um, those types of things that you can add to it. And then you add a vinaigrette that's low sodium. So it doesn't have to be low fat. It really needs to be more of a low sodium. If you're working, um, you know, if you wanna just add a little bit of oil and some vinegar, that would be perfect too. So that's where you can make kind of like a bulk amount of salad, mix it up, and then you can portion it out for your days. Um, number three is, it's what's called a bento box. And I love bento boxes because they're almost like little kids Lunchables, but they're for adults. So it kind of has each, you put each thing in a different section of your tray or a different container. And then when you get to wherever you're going, you put it all together. So the awesome thing about that is if you have a sandwich, it doesn't get soggy. If you have a um, couple cold things, you can do a little ice pack with them like your lunch meat. And then on the other part of it, you wouldn't have the cold so it wouldn't um, affect the bread. You can easily take with you uh, some veggies, some meat, and maybe some bread or crackers. Or uh, But just make sure when you're looking at your deli meat, like I was talking about a couple deli meat options, make sure that you're looking for the low sodium deli meat or your, and you're watching your portion size. But that should be a good way to go and I, I love them because you can take peanut butter, you can take nuts, um, you can do all different kinds of things and kind of make like a little uh, meal that you can then add, either mix together when you get it or just uh, eat one piece at a time. And number four is kind of a little bit of a change upon number two, which is this is a cold noodle salad. So you had a pasta salad, which is like the smaller noodles, typically elbows, little spirals. This would be more like ramen noodles, but obviously ramen noodles are, can be high in sodium. So you would take and you might boil some longer noodles some you know you could do asian rice noodles you could do spaghetti you could do linguine angel hair any of that and then you would just add again a vinaigrette or oil and vinegar and some salt free seasoning 
Um, you could add some herbs. You could add, we have Texas Twist. We have Toasted Onion, Garlic, and More in the Nick and e's Kitchen website. But you can do just a salt-free seasoning, a little mustache type thing. Cold noodle salad. And it gives you, the, the noodles give you uh, carbohydrates, which give you a little bit more energy over a longer period of time. And then the oil helps you to kind of, it kind of gives you satiety, helps you to feel full for longer. And then you have your vinegar, which gives you that little zing that you're probably looking for from the salt. So those are the four options, a turkey pita sandwich, a veggie pasta salad, a bento box, and maybe like a cold noodle salad. And you can swap those out. Some of those you can make ahead of time a couple days. Um, but I just wanna remind you that you still can have a lot of variety and flavor in your bagged lunches. You don't have to go with just white bread and turkey. You can add mayo, you can add mustard, you know, look at the sodium amounts in those, but you can add those, you add some renal friendly veggies and you're good to go. And I always encourage you, if you're gonna take a sandwich for a period of time, to pack the bread separate from the meat and then when you're ready to eat them, put them together. That way it's not soggy. Um, but I hope that helped you out and those can work for you when you're traveling or taking um, a meal somewhere that you're not going to be necessarily at home for. So thanks and have a great day.